hello dear students welcome to axiomatic course this video is the part of the solution series for csir net june 2018 and we are doing this problem 43 of the section b it's a problem of partial differential equation let us have a look the cauchy problem so we are given with a cauchy problem and the condition is u is 1 on the line 3x minus 2y is equal to 0 has exactly one solution two solution infinitely many and no solution so it's a very important problem or we or also it's a very easy problem also so if you remember a note for this problem you can solve this problem easily all right so i will write a note for you that you can note down and you have to remember it while you are going to your exam all right so let me write so see i have written that important note for you let us read this note and then we will solve this problem so a equation of this type where small p and small q represents the partial derivative of z all right in this case we have u otherwise generally we take z all right so it's a partial differentiation of z with respect to x and partial differentiation of z with respect to y then we are saying that it will have unique solution when this happen it will have infinitely many solution when this happen and it will have no solution when this happen please keep in mind that we are evaluating p q r on this initial condition x naught y naught and z naught are you getting my point so p capital p capital q and capital r in this thing we are evaluating on the given condition now see it is given to us that u is 1 on 3x minus 2y is equal to 0 it means that y is 3 by 2 of x all right so what will be the initial condition initial condition will be like this let us say x is a function of s and it is equal to s we are writing so what will be y it will be 3 by 2 s what will be u u will be just 1 all right instead of z naught we have this u naught so this is the initial point that is given to you now this is your uh, cauchy problem let us now find out what is capital p it's it's 2 what is capital q it's 2 what is capital r it is 5 so 2 by del x naught by del s so sorry dx naught by ds so uh, dx naught by ds will be 1 because this is your x naught this is your y naught this is your z naught now it is 3 by 3 by 2 all right if you will differentiate it with respect to y on the, uh, the on the on this hand we have r by and what is our r it is 5 so let us write 5 5 over now you have 1 so when you will differentiate it with respect to z you will get 0 now clearly see this ratio is 2 all right this is 2 this is 3 3 will be cancelled by 3 you will get 2 but on the right hand side you have different ratio so this is not equal to this ratio it means that uh, it means that it is satisfying this condition so because it is satisfying this condition so what is what is the conclusion that you can make so conclusion is very simple that it has no solution and all other remaining options will be incorrect all right so this is how you can actually solve please remember this note in the exam otherwise it will take a little time if you try to solve this equation all right so you will try to solve then you will find a contradiction that there is no solution using this we have another method also that is what i am telling you if you try to find out the basic thing the lagrange method that you have if you find out the solution of this problem using lagrange method it is okay and then you will find out using this these conditions it is going to contradict all right so you can also do that part but i want you to do this problem using this note because 
it it is it will save your time all right so this is how you can actually solve if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other problem you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you